Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get stable performance in Overwatch 2 Season 15 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out with the best settings and it help you get maximum performance so stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and then head down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to get extra performance because it disables any kind of overlays running on the top of your games. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to maximize your performance. Right after that, head down to graphics and then click on change default graphics settings right over here. Then click on hardware accessory GPU scheduling and make sure that this is turned on. Same thing with the optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input and render latency and improve the performance in the game. After that, head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Once you find it, simply open it up and then add overwatch.exe in this list. If that is already added, scroll down to find it, select it, head over to its options and then select high performance to ensure that your graphic card is being utilized. Click on save and then close your settings. Next step is the compatibility settings and for that, simply right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local file. Once you are here, right click on overwatch.exe, head over to its properties, then compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization to make sure that this is checked. After that, click on change high dpi settings and then select override high dpi scaling behavior. Click on ok and then click on ok right over here. This will help you to fix your input latency. But before we move ahead, I want to introduce you guys to this video sponsor, Ease Us Voice Wave. It's a real-time AI voice changer for gaming, online chat, streaming, and a lot more, which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below. Once you open up this application, it has a very simple interface with a ton of voices, sound effects, and a lot of other cool features. The best part about this software is the AI feature where you guys can simply switch to any voice. I personally like young girl because it sounds perfect. And here I have selected the volume and the pitch to make it sound more filtered and accurate. Here is how I sound like as a young girl. Once again, I use this quite a lot while gaming or pranking my friends and it works perfectly. You guys can simply select your microphone and your headphone and then you can enable AI smooth mode. If you want your voices to be more smoother, you can add key binds and a lot of other cool stuff. And they have over 300 voices to choose from including famous celebrities, game characters and a lot more. I would recommend you guys to go check out Isis Voice Wave for free from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Over here look for local disk C and then click on create. Name it Overwatch 2 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Overwatch 2 season 15 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it from there. You'll find in six simple folders and these are very helpful and I would recommend you guys how to skip any one of them. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click on the AMD CPU priority and it will help you to set up the correct divert values to optimize the performance of your CPU. After that, head back to the main folder, go to the second folder which is Overwatch 2 priority in which I have left above normal and high priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Once that is done, go back. Third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your PC. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can select it among this list. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset to default these registries back again. Fourth one is the power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will add ultimate performance power plan into your list and to access it, head over to power plans and this will take you to control panel. Select hide additional plans over here and then select ultimate performance plan once that is added on your PC. This will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your USB, graphic card, CPU and help you to improve the performance of your hardware. Fifth one is input lag fix in which I have left keyboard latency fix for which I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one you need to choose right over here. Next is mouse latency registries in which I have left disable pointer precision which will help you to disable mouse acceleration on your PC. This is really helpful while gaming and makes your aim more accurate. But if you're on a laptop 
laptop and you use a trackpad i would not recommend you guys to use it mm -hmm. next one is fix mouse delay which will help you to set up the correct curves of your mouse and once that is done simply close it to run both of them you can double click to apply them last is the useful programs in which i have left three programs over here first one is clean temporary files you want to have to right click and run it as administrator this will ask you to delete all temporary files off of your pc press enter and this will start deleting them it is a healthy practice to keep your temporary files clean on your pc once it is done simply close it next step is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run it as administrator again once you are here select your graphic card and then click on the msi button next to it for the inter priority you want to have to set it to high and then click on apply this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts and improve the performance and speed once that is done simply close it next is unpack cpu you have to open this application up this is a very simple and useful tool which will help you to fix core parking on your pc core parking is something which causes a lot of performance issues stuttering black screen issues and a lot more while you're gaming and to fix it you want to have to set this core parking index all the way up to 100 percent and click on apply this will make sure that all of the cores are running and are in use once that is done simply close it and close the fps pack next step is disabling all unwanted startup apps and for that simply control shift and escape and to open up task manager once you are here click on startup apps and then you'll find a lot of applications that are installed on your pc what you have to do is right click and start disabling these applications which you do not use right after the boot of your pc this will not only help you to improve the performance of your games but it will also help you to reduce your booting time doing this you will allow your pc to disable the number of processes running in the background right after the start of your pc next step is disabling background applications and for that you have to press your windows key and then type in edit group policy simply open it up this step will only be available for windows pro users once you're here double click on computer configuration then administrative templates windows components app privacy and in here you'll find in let windows apps run in the background simply double click to open it up and then make sure that this policy is set to enabled then for the policy property default for all applications should be set to force deny and then click on apply click on ok to close it this will disallow any kind of applications running in the background while you're playing your games once that is done simply close it next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows once you're over here you have to select custom and then you have to ensure that you only turned on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts other than that every single option right over here should be set to disabled this will help you to disable any kind of animations on your pc which might be causing performance issues while keeping the basic look of your windows intact click on apply and then head over to the advanced tab the next step is right over here that is setting up your virtual memory correctly simply click on the change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size right over here for the custom size set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size open up your calculator now you have to multiply your ram with 1024 this will give you your memory in megabytes divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get over here should be pasted in the maximum size once that is done click on set click on ok and then simply apply it this is how you correctly set up your virtual memory it will be utilized when your ram is completely utilized and your game needs a little bit of a headroom it will use your rom as your ram once you're done with all of these steps once all of that is done you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings all right once you open up your game press your escape key and then head over to options right over here select your gpu and then your graphics api it could be directx 12 because that gives me the best fps possible display mode i have gone with the windowed borderless and aspect ratio normal nvidia reflex go with enabled plus boost vsync and triple buffering should be turned off reduced buffering should be turned on then render scale you want to have to go to automatic then press y to apply it then head over to graphics quality and then here you have to set it dead highest quality upscaling go with fsr 2.2 if that is available for your pc image sharpening i have gone with 0.45 texture quality medium texture filtering quality also medium you guys can go with high and ultra it doesn't really impact your fps a lot so i have gone with medium i can go with high as well local fog detail low model detail i have gone with medium shadow detail low effects detail low lighting quality low refraction quality low screenshot quality if you guys take screenshot that's up to you ambient occlusion should be set to off dynamic reflections should be set to off local reflections of damage fx default once that is done press apply once that is done, press your escape key and now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you guys. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.